Hey everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks for joining me on today's kind of cool video. And, and you say, well, Tony, you do lots of video. Aren't they all cool? And I'd say, yeah, they are cool. However, this here was done when Shelby was alive. That's what I love about these cars. These real Shelby GTs. These are in the registry. This is number seven, super low production figures. Number seven, low miles, low ownership, showroom condition in here and looking great. Uh, we uh, want a couple things I want to share with you that deteriorate over time. That's a kind of a normal thing. I want to tell you the things that we did to it as well to get it to this level. Because my goal is for you to really be able to take this to a show, right? What's not to like about that? And then uh, maybe, maybe you either win the show or just enjoy driving it to the show. What's not to like? All right, uh, let's go ahead and get started. We'll talk about this GT Premium Shelby GT. All right, so we're gonna get started here. I brought an assistant along because uh, she will help point out, Stella will help point out some of the great features of the Shell BGT because she can hear things that most nobody else can hear, not even like NORAD radar somewhere else because of the size of these ears. Anyway, she's a nice girl. All right, so let's take a few minutes walking around. What makes this car different than the others? Well, uh, one of the things I do like to say to people all the time is because I get this. I'm driving down the road and somebody say, man, that's a great looking car. And I'm like, thanks so much, right? but they don't really know why it's a great looking car. I like to point out some of that stuff that you get on a car that makes it different than every other, every other, right? So for instance, like the hood scoop that's on there, uh, Shelby would have put that on there. This aluminum hood, right? Shelby GT only part, right? These wheels and tires done by Shelby. Uh, the stripe package, like all of that stuff's done at, uh, at the Shelby factory and done uh, the way that he wanted to get it done to make it an affordable car that people, like regular people could get to. Cause this was, remember the GT500 was out uh, about the same time and it was super expensive. This was a way for him to get his name, allow all of us to be able to buy uh, a Shelby Mustang, right? A Shelby Mustang and kind of live his dream. Uh, more importantly, we like to talk about paint. And when you have low mileage cars that are garage kept, loved and what have you, you need to be able to see the quality of the paint. We do the video for a reason because Pictures can be manipulated, right? With all the AI and all the good stuff. I'm probably not even here. This is probably AI, right? If it was really AI, they would have picked a much more handsome model. Anyway, back to my original point. Uh, when we're looking at paint, we want to look at what's in the paint, not at the paint. Let me tell you what I mean by that. So as we wander on over here, I want you to look at the ceiling in the paint. I want you to look at the light in the paint. And the reason why I say that is this way you can see the ribs in the paint and all of these letters and the crisper and cleaner that everything is the better paint you have. See how those letters are? You can see everything in there, nice and sharp. And that, my friends, is why the car shines so well. All right, I wanna take a peek under here for a minute because this is not just a, a regular Mustang GT uh, engine compartment. Why is it not? Because this has more horsepower. It has an upgraded management system that Shelby uh, had Ford put in. That's the racing version of this. Cold air intake is on here as well. Uh, but the Ford racing parts are in here and you get some more horsepower. The part I like to point out is the most important part, and that is these stickers here, okay? These stickers here, the CSM, those kinds of things are not things that you can purchase, right? They came on the car. If the car was in an accident, these pieces would have been taken off, right? And replaced with other pieces because most people didn't care. That's why when I'm buying a car, I'm looking at these kinds of things in here going, okay, this is uh, good. This is all original, this is really nice, and if you wanted to go to a show, uh, it would look really great uh, to take it there. Anyway, 4.6 liters, uh, you got all, all kinds of aluminum motor in here, and you got great sound, you got great power. If you've ever heard a, a, a Mustang with an exhaust, they're one of the best sounding cars that's out there. You may not wanna take us to a show, you may just wanna drive it, doesn't matter to me, you may just wanna get in the garage, open the hood, open a beer or wine, an iced tea, whatever it is you, your flavor is, and just look at it and go, man, that is a lot of motor stuffed in this car. And it really is. And it goes down the road. And guess what? We're going to find that out next. What distinguishes a Shelby GT versus a regular Mustang GT, right? Let's take a walk around. This spoiler is different. These side vents are different, right? We already talked about the wheels and tires and the hood. Uh, all of that there it looks great. Here we have the diffuser down below, exhaust, right? Some of these are GT standard things, but some of them are also Shelby things. This stripe package here. It's just a great looking stripe package. I don't care what you say. When you're driving down the road, front and rear spoilers, the side vents, the window vents, 
uh, this rear wing, this screams performance, right? And just- All right, so I like to peek in here for two reasons. One, not that it matters, like, but if you want to go to a show, there's a ton of room to put chairs, a cooler, you want to go away for the weekend, luggage, like this is a real world car that's a performance car as well. It's been to a show uh, and won an award, which is really very nice, huh? Um, this has the upgraded audio in it with the kicker sound system. In case you get locked in the trunk, this is here. Just wanted to show you just in case you are a person who loves to get in the trunk, right? Uh, that's sitting here for you and ready to go. Don't get in the trunk. Anyway, uh, the great news is it's livable, it's usable, it looks great from behind. This kind of styling stuff in here is reminiscent of uh, the 60s vintage Mustangs where they would uh, have their turn signals like that. And it screams Shelby. All right, this is one of the shots I love. I love when you walk up to the car, right? It's your car, you're walking up to it, and it's a completely different view, right? Because you're gonna spend most of your time in the cockpit of this, but walking up to this, this is, looks aggressive. It looks like a cool car, and that's exactly what it is too. And not to mention it's numbered and whatever, but we are gonna get inside, and there's some comfort inside uh, that I think that you should know about. So come join me inside here for a minute too. This is very nice. I do like to point out stuff uh, that sometimes you don't know because we get people who come by all the time uh, to see if they fit in cars and what have you. But I'm 6'1", and not only is there a ton of room in here, uh, this has power seats as well, as I could slide this way up here, and there's tons of room in the back to take another couple out, take the kids out. Imagine taking this car to dinner, right? The experience is very different. This has got the shaker audio system in it. There's a subwoofer in the trunk. Uh, all the big speakers indoor, and there's Shelby badge stereo system speakers too. Like there's a lot of Shelby pieces. Here's the CSM number here, number 07, right? 07, it's a low production, number seven, right? Um, and showing 29,000 miles, roughly 28,990, but say 29,000 miles, that's less than 2,000 miles a year. That makes it a collector car, right? You can still enjoy it. Hopefully as time goes on, just like it's doing, it's now going back up in value. You got this Hurst shifter that's super nice, way better than the factory shifter. Um, and then you got uh, modern stuff like power windows, power locks, keyless entry, power seat we just saw. All that good stuff makes for an awesome, awesome sports car and awesome a great car to drive to work. All right, so we close up this video like we normally do. Let's talk about uh, and run down some of the things that make this what I would say a collector car, right? Collector car are low production cars with low miles on them, right? This is exactly what we have here in a great color combination. Uh, manual transmission with a Hurst shifter. Nice motor, upgraded uh, audio system from the factory, loaded with features and options. I don't really feel like I need to spend a lot of time going over leather and the shaker and the big brakes and like all that stuff because this is a great car. You can see it's here. We got to find a way to get it in your garage. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this uh, awesome Shelby GT. And if you don't mind, hit the like button down below there. It helps get our message out. I really appreciate that. Uh, subscribe to the channel. We have new stuff coming out all the time and maybe share it with your friends too. They might see something they like. All right, here we go in the in the GT. I don't know what to call it, man. I don't want to ride my Shelby. Don't want to call it a GT. My Shelby GT. But this is what you're getting, right? You're getting this. Wow. You're getting some power. You're getting handling. You're getting a different car, man. It's not just a stock GT. You can feel it. You can feel it. It's just something different about it. Not to mention it looks so good going down the road. Wow. This is great. Oh my gosh. You're gonna love this car. Shifter super tight. The exhaust sounds great. I'm watching the tack fall up and down in between shifts. Easy to drive. Hope you can hear that exhaust too. Wow, this is nice. This is exactly what you're looking for. A cool car that not everybody has. A car that's fast, sounds good, looks good, and is comfortable, man. Leather seats, air conditioning, shaker sound system. This is super, super nice. All right, we're driving again, and we're just working the shifter and the steering wheel. That's all we're doing today. We're going for a drive, man. I shut the radio off, I turn the phone off. Sometimes it's just nice to roll down the windows 
and go for a drive home, man. This is your little bit of therapy. Oh, shit. This is your little bit of therapy. Driving this car. Here we are driving again. Moving the shifter. Working the wheel. Using the brakes. This is a driver's car. And tons of power. Wow. Effortless power. You're going to love this car. All right, with all the upgrades in here, the sound is just as good. Let's check it out. You can hear the cold air intake in there and the exhaust. Nice. 